Hey guys, this is Rochi with Expat Audio here. Um, it's been a quite a couple of months here. We've just had a renovation finished on the house. And uh, the garage where I normally do all my work was where we kept all the equipment from all the guys working and so on. And so I've got components all over the place. Everything's been a mess. It still is a bit of a mess, to be honest with you. But um, I want to share in this video a little setup I've done for my inventory system. So uh, some of you may remember from before that uh, I have an inventory system that um, I have a product ID for most things. Uh, but now I've got seven of these boxes, these bin boxes and so on set up now, seven of them with different components and so on. I've got no way of tracking it right now. So in this video, we're going to basically set up a system so that each of these gets numbered and I can scan the barcode for the box and the, the container and then each of the individual boxes and then look it up in a database so that if I ever need a one kilo ohm resistor that I can pull up quickly, it'll tell me which box to go looking in. And then the extension of that in the future is to have LEDs behind and all that kind of thing. But for now, let's get started. So I'm based in Dallas, Texas, and we have a garage here where we keep a lot of inventory in the lab and everything else. And then I also have a site that uh, does all the shipping for the towns just outside of Dallas. Um, for the inventory system, we keep everything on a server over in the over in Europe, and it runs a database that runs MySQL. MySQL has the database; it's holding all the data, and it serves that data out. Uh, I can go to a website, and you know, uh, internally on the server, it pulls the MySQL database, formats the page shares it with me but if I want to update anything or do anything kind of behind the scenes then I need a more secure method to get in and so what I have is a, a secure tunnel if you will using SSH and that creates a local link between the computer I'm using here in Dallas and the server so that I can create programs in Python for instance that do different things with that server and the Python programs think they're just talking to the local computer Searching through the inventory is handled by the server that actually creates a website that I can go to. That's handled by MySQL, the database, and then also PHP that runs on top of it. Any writing to the database is then handled by local applications running on local PCs. For instance, this one here has been designed so I can scan lots of bins of parts and put them in storage and tag them with a piece of storage. This little Python program actually prints out labels for me, so I put in a PID number, uh, which is an Expert Audio number, and it connects to the database, pulls in the name of the product, pulls in what the barcode should look like, and so on, and prints labels onto these little one and a half inch labels that I have. Now I may seem like I'm really smart with software and so on, but really this is 42 lines of code, for instance, to do that bulk write. Um, so I, you know, scan the major storage unit and then I scan the boxes inside it one after another. That was 42 lines of code. This first bit connects to the database and everything else is simply uh, you know scan this and do something with that data. Alright guys so to check out some of the code that I've made and some of the setup I've put stuff on my github um, even though I'm not sure I need 40 github for 42 lines of code uh, but it's there um, come check it out uh, I'm on my name on github is audio Rochi. there's a link below uh, if you like what you've seen or if you have any questions please comment in the uh, down below in the, in the YouTube comments and um, yeah like the video subscribe and we'll see where else we take this take care folks bye